the Epsilon class, consisting of the Epsilon L16 and the Esbern Snail L17, are among the largest surface ships ever built for the Royal Danish Navy. The two ships were commissioned in 2004 and 2005, respectively, and are serving as flexible support ships. Some documents classify them as transport frigates, while others consider them combat support ships. In the Royal Danish Navy, the Absalon class is classified as command and support ships. The Absalon class can be equipped for a naval warfare, land attack, strategic sea relief missions, or as a command platform. They can also be configured as hospital ships or for disaster relief with the capacity to be transformed from a combat ship with the firepower of a traditional frigate to a hospital ship within a day. The Danish design resembles the French Lafayette class frigate but has a different mission description. The vessel has a full displacement of 6,600 tons, a length of 137 meters, a beam of 19.5 meters, and a draft of 6.3 meters. The class is based on the frigate-like design, but built with an internal multi-purpose deck and a stern vehicle ram. The ships can serve as command platforms for a staff of 75 persons with a containerized command and control center, transport and base of operations for a company-sized landing force of some 200 soldiers with vehicles. Alternatively, the flex deck can be used for my laying operations with a capacity of some 300 miles or be fitted out from my clearing operations a lodge and recover my detecting and clearing equipment via a retractable gantry crane adjacent to the stern vehicle ramp which also is used for lodging and recovering the fast landing craft. The flex deck can support a containerized hospital or simply transport a number of ISO standard containers or some 55 vehicles, including up to 7 MBTs. The ships can carry two landing craft, personnel, two resistor inflatable boats, and two EH-101 helicopters. The ship design incorporates their characteristics for low acoustic, radar, visual, and infrared signatures. Shock protection and isolation are standard 4142, 4137, and 4549. Parts of the hull are armor protected to standard 4569 standard. Manned areas are protected against nuclear, biological, and chemical warfare to stand up 4447. The ship has a Therma Sea Fleet Combat Management and Command, Control, Communications, and Intelligence System. Systematic and Therma developed the software for the Sea Flex and MERS Data Defense was contracted for the development and supply of the hardware and system controls. The communication suite includes tactical data links Link 11, Link 16, civil and military satellite communications operating in EHF, SHF, and UHF bands voice communications in VHF and UHF bands, civil and commercial communications, and video teleconferencing, 
antenna stations are installed for use by Army, Air Force, or Special Forces. In August 2008, Terminal was awarded a contract to supply a mounting system, which will interface to the C-Flex combat system and allows the future integration of Link 22. The standard weapons of the Absalon class can be supplemented through the use of Stanflex missile modules. A special weapons deck is designed with five Stanflex module slots, which only missile firing weapons modules can be installed. Typical are three of 12 RIM-162 EVO C Sparrow surface to emissure and two of for Harpoon Block 2 surface to surface measure. A fixed bow mounted, fully automatic 127mm Mark 45 mode for a main gun. For a certain anti aircraft protection, the Vessel fears two millennium 35mm closing weapon system. Near the aft closing weapon system gun, are traditional defense and weapon systems for six tube SBROC chaff decoy launchers located amidships, along with two Mark 32 twin launchers for the MU 90 anti submarine torpedoes. For political reasons, the ships were originally launched as flexible support ships to avoid antagonizing Russia after the end of the Cold War. On the 16th of October 2020, both ships were reclassed as anti-submarine warfare frigates. Both ships will be upgraded with tow array sonars in addition to the existing how mounted sonar and the Sikorsky SH-60 Seahawk helicopters will be equipped with deeping sonars, sonar boys, and torpedoes. This upgrade is expected to be complete in 2026.